Turning now to a practice, a problematic, anachronistic one that keeps cropping up in modern media. Blackface. White or light-skinned people caricaturing those of African descent by darkening their faces with theatrical makeup. It's a supposed entertainment device from a bygone era. And while across much of the Western world, it no longer features in mainstream art or entertainment, in the Middle East, you don't have to go back in time to find this stuff. Blackface and caricatured depictions of black people still go out on the air. And in most cases, they are not even seen as offensive, particularly in Egypt, which is home to a sizable Nubian minority, black Egyptians who originate from the southern end of the country or from northern Sudan. The Listening Post's Tarek Nafa now on the persisting, troubling use of blackface and the stain that leaves on media outlets in the Arab world. When we watch TV shows or movies, black people are always inferior. And blackface is an inferior, negative and racist concept, which should not belong in the Arab world. We almost never speak about this segment of Arab society, black people. Firstly, because they never get to speak in public spaces. The black person is a citizen in the Arab world, but an invisible citizen. Why? Because power made him invisible. Take the case of Shema Saif, a star on the Arab world's most widely watched media network, NBC. A skit she performed earlier this year caused a storm online. Shema Saif is sitting in the front of a van and she's speaking just, it's not comprehensible Arabic, it's not comprehensible anything. It's this awful, overly sexualized, nonsense dialect that is an attempt, I think, to represent the Sudanese dialect. And it's, it's very offensive. In the other video, there is Shema with a purportedly her little boy who constantly has to go to the bathroom and she has him urinate in a jar and when he does so people are horrified i cannot imagine a woman wiping the urine off of her hands onto other passengers it, it just wouldn't happen so this idea that the sudanese are uncleanly and they don't care and that they have no hygiene is also quite racist Directors, producers and actors use blackface to entertain audiences. But that's because society already disregards these people. So in the eyes of the director or producer, they look at what makes people laugh and what they respond to, and they use it. They're not concerned with improving public taste. They just want to make money fast. And how do they make quick money? By making people laugh. <laughs> It's not uncommon to hear a defense of blackface in Arab media that goes something like this. There's no malice. It's a joke. It's totally harmless. The holes in that argument are too numerous to list, not least that black people aren't in on the joke. They're not even represented on screen. And the misrepresentation of black people has consequences off screen in the real world. In the Arab world, we have a range of skin colors from black to very pale white. Our preferences as Arabs, which align with the standards around the world, is that the whiter someone is, the more attractive they are. I have personally received a lot of comments like, the night has come early, or I get called Shikabala. Shikabala is a black footballer and I shouldn't be offended, but the name is used in a derogatory manner to offend me. There are lots of sexual remarks related to black stereotypes. People have pulled my hair, spit on me and thrown things at me. People talk about me as though I don't understand Arabic, as though I don't know they are commenting about me. In mainstream media, no, I, I do not see a conscious decision or like a conscious measure that has been implemented to change the perception of blacks. I mean, I do not remember seeing uh, an African character being cast even in, in a periphery role in any um, Arab uh, mainstream TV or film. I think that is very indicative because any culture acknowledges its, its minorities no matter how small they are. And I think it also stems from the fact that we have no writers. We almost have no critics who actually like continue to talk about like these issues. The black person's image in the media and in the Arab world's psyche 
won't change for the better as long as black people themselves keep being silent. Nothing will change because the people who create these images are the ones who are in power, leaving the black people on the sidelines. I say that the black man needs to fully participate in the change, like what's happening in the United States. When the black community realized they were underrepresented in white TV, they made their own channels. They imposed change on society, which is far from being the case in the Arab world. In the Arab world, this image will never change as long as Arab people's mindsets and perceptions of black people don't change.